everybody. This is Meredith again, your dietitian. Uh, today we're going to go over the pre-op diet instructions. So two weeks prior to your surgery, you'll need to do a liver shrinking diet. Okay, um, This is for two weeks exactly before your surgery. It's mostly a full liquid diet, so you're doing your protein shakes, your protein supplements, um, trying to get in about three a day, so one for breakfast, lunch, and dinner on most days, um, plus drinking plenty of water and other sugar-free fluids throughout the day, so things like Gatorade Zero, Crystal Light, things like that. Um, you can also sip on broth, sugar-free Jello and have sugar-free popsicles along with herbal teas and decaf coffee. So in addition to that full liquid diet, you do get to eat four real food meals in this two-week time period. Okay, Usually people will do twice in the first week and then twice in the second week just to kind of space everything out. Okay, um, But you get to pick the days and you get to pick which meal it's for. It can be for breakfast or lunch or dinner, it doesn't matter. Just as long as those four real food meals are only protein and vegetables, okay? Um, so here are some examples like chicken and broccoli, salmon and asparagus, turkey and green beans, something like that. Just nothing breaded or fried. Super important during this time to make sure you avoid certain things, so especially um, added sugars, so eliminating things like juice, soda, sweet tea, sugary coffee drinks, energy drinks, sports drinks, things like that. Uh, so no sugars, no starches, no fruit, caffeine, or alcohol during this time. The day before surgery, you will need to go to all clear liquids. Uh, this is water consistency. Okay, that's, that's what clear liquids means, it's watery. So you can do broth, the sugar-free jello, the sugar-free popsicles, uh, and I do encourage you to find some clear liquid protein supplements that you can drink um, on that day so that you don't feel like you're extremely hungry, okay? And there are no color restrictions, so you can do reds and purples and pinks and so forth. Okay, so clear liquids the day before surgery, nothing to eat or drink, nothing by mouth after midnight. Then um, it will be clear liquids while you're in the hospital, which is usually one to two nights. Okay, and so they'll bring you clear liquid trays while you're there. No need to worry about bringing anything with you. Then as soon as you get home from the hospital, you will go back to all full liquids. Okay, so these are um, thicker liquids, like your protein supplements, um, low sugar creamy yogurt, uh, sugar-free pudding, creamy soups with no chunks, um, along with your, you can do the milky creamy protein shakes. Um, but you, your priority is to stay hydrated okay so this is going to require you to take very small very frequent sips of fluids okay before you leave the hospital they're going to encourage you to take about one ounce every 15 minutes during the day okay so you're going to be sipping on fluids like it is your job okay so sip 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 super important and you stay on full liquids until you come back in um, for your 10 to 14 day post-op appointment and then we'll see how you're doing and we'll make sure you're ready to move on to the next stage and we'll cover it at that time, okay? So if you need a reminder about the full liquid stage, it's on page seven in your um, nutrition booklet. Uh, some common things I get asked about, um, sugar substitutes, yes, you can use things like Splenda, uh, stevia, monk fruit, um, just no honey, um, no sugar, you know, but you can you can use the sugar substitutes. Uh, caffeine. Um, this is not to torture you, but caffeine needs to be avoided after surgery for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, it can be dehydrating 
and you don't want anything working against you when you're specifically trying to stay hydrated after surgery. Plus, caffeine can be a stomach irritant, so you don't want anything um, in your stomach that can irritate that staple lining as it's healing. Okay, um, and you want to get caffeine out of your, your system before surgery um, so that you're not going through caffeine withdrawals um, after just having had surgery. So, um, let's see, if you don't like the protein supplements or you don't tolerate them, I'm going to encourage you to keep trying, okay? It is, it is very, very normal and common um, to hear this afterwards. Um, if you don't like them, you just need to keep trying different brands, different flavors, um, different textures. Work your way through that protein supplement list on page 21 and 22 in your booklet. Um, you know, there's all different kinds. Um, Gene Pro is another um, thing that comes in very handy after surgery. So Gene Pro, spelled G-E-N-E-P-R-O, is a protein powder. It's unflavored and unsweetened, so it's very versatile, and you can mix it into a lot of different things. Um, so it does come in very handy. So look into getting that. Um, do a Google search or search in some of your bariatric communities, and I'm sure you'll see lots of posts about it. Um, but you got to keep trying. There's no way around it. Um, if you're worried about feeling hungry while on the pre-op diet, uh, that's a legitimate concern. Um, just remember, you know, stay hydrated, drink lots of water, um, and, and, and sugar-free electrolyte drinks, so like your Gatorade Zeros, those types of drinks. Um, make sure to max out the protein. Uh, so if you were, let's say, drinking um, a protein supplement that has 20 grams of protein uh, and it's not cutting it for you, look for one that um, has 30 grams of protein per serving. Okay, It could be a matter of 60 grams of protein a day versus 90 grams of protein a day, depending on which ones you choose. Um, and also sip on bone broth. So bone broth, um, just the fact that it's more savory um, and bone broth has protein, a little bit of protein in it, can help you feel a little bit more satisfied too. Um, and as far as condiments, just avoid the sugary ones. Um, you know, regular barbecue sauce and ketchup. Look for the, you, you can uh, use the sugar-free varieties if you can find those. Um, and sugary dressings, just look at the sugar content on the nutrition label. Uh, but avoid ones that tend to be higher in sugar, like some Asian dressings, French, Catalina, um, things like that. And if you have any questions still about the pre-op diet, you can either listen to this video again or as many times as you want. Um, you can call and ask questions or email me. But be sure to refer back to the Bariatric Nutrition Manual, um, especially pages 6 and 7 and 20 through 22, uh, should answer the majority of your questions about what you can have and what you can't have. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but if you do have questions still, just let me know. I'm happy to help out. And then after this video, uh, you'll take the quiz. There's a link to take the quiz in that email and so do that and when I see your name and date of birth come through I will mark that you've completed your nutrition 101 or nutrition 201 clearance okay for the pre-op diet and you should be good to go thanks